I think Jake Paul has actually uh, committed himself. And um, it looks like when I see the videos and stuff, um, him sparring, it looks like he's really working in boxing gyms. So he's getting better. And uh, I do feel like he's a better boxer than Ben Askren. But I feel like Ben just has a way of knowing how to win. And, um, you know, when you have that history of winning, I just you just kind of find a way. And um, you can never count out Ben Askren ever. So um, I think eventually Ben will overcome him, even even um, if he takes some shots early and stuff like that. I think he's going to wear out Jake Paul and end up overcoming him and beating him. Uh, I definitely think Askren is the most uh, athletic, and I, I, like I, this is this is hard to say, because I don't think Ben Askren's a good boxer. I, I'm a big fan of Ben Askren. I think dude's a phenomenal grappler, but it's not boxing. But to be realistic, I don't think Jake Paul has has the quality of trainers to actually maybe beat Ben Askren. So, I, I'm going to naturally lean towards Ben Askren, but sadly, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, that dumb dumb Jake Paul wins. I'll have to go with Ben Askren, and and maybe he's the underdog. I would put some money on that just because uh, I could see Jake Paul just getting punched out, swinging crazy. Um, yeah, that's I mean, that's hard. A wrestler going into the boxing. I'm I'm just gonna go with the wrestler just because I'm a wrestler and and uh, I'm rooting for him. I wholeheartedly wish Ben Askren wins because if he doesn't, I just I can't imagine him making a comeback from that mentally. You know what I mean? You lost. You yeah. were a super. You were a UFC and one FC or one championship fighting. You know, superstar mixed martial artist. And you you know you're losing to some guy who like you said, is a super, is a YouTube superstar. So I would hope that he could pull off the win, but um, other than that, you know, I got nothing else for him. <laughs> I've got to go with Ben Askren. Can't go with Jake Paul, lad. I've got to go with an MMA fighter. But, like, it's just hilarious the way he's going on. I'll knock him out, I'll knock him out. But then you're fighting the MMA fighter who is known to have the worst punches in MMA. He's got the worst boxing in MMA, lad, and he just decides to fight him. It's proper embarrassing. You know, and he's, he's going to be a huge underdog, well, a, a significant underdog, Askren, so I think I'll be having some money yeah, on that. I'll yeah, be, I'll be putting a little bet on Askren, me, lad. He's, he's been there and done it before, lad. He's done five fives and stuff like that, lad, so he'll be able to do fucking... He'll be able to do 12 threes boxing him, lad. He's wrestled hard, lad, before. So I know it's a different type of fitness for the same time, Wrestling fitness is not like anything else. Wrestling is the, the hardest thing to get fitter. Um, Askren has kind of got some horrible boxing, but at the same time, the guy has been in combat sports for such a long time that um, even though you might not have the best boxing ability, uh, you've just been in there so much. You know, you, he's had he has so much experience, and and uh, unorthodox striking can be more deadly than a guy with really slick, good boxing. So, um, you know, I, I, I would see it all the time. I'd go train with pro boxers and I, I would give them fits because they'd be like, man, like you're so like, you're, 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 you're boxing. So like unorthodox. And I'm like, well, I just kind of, I, that's how I fight. And, uh, you know, I think that can translate good for a guy like Ben Askren if he's able to use that, you know, cause obviously like a guy like Jake Paul is probably in the gym, not training with MMA fighters, he's probably training with boxers. So, Askren is probably the furthest thing away from a boxer in his skill set. So uh, I think he could use that to his advantage. But, I mean, when you're talking about strict boxing, I think uh, Jake Paul is going to have the the edge <laughs> in the actual skill. But toughness, experience, I got to give it to Askren. So, I mean, we'll, it'll be interesting to see. But uh, I, I really don't know who, who's going to win that fight. Ben Askren's a legend, you know, in the – like martial art, like he's been he's been a combat sport athlete for a long time. You know, he's a legend in Bellator. Um his boxing's like, you know what I mean? I don't I don't know. I, I think I think Jake Paul could get him man, because it only takes one punch. But then again, you know, let's see what Askren has. I, I I don't know how to call that. I want Ben Askren to whip his ass because 
for, for coming obviously from MMA and stuff like that, but it's going to be a tough fight for him because clearly boxing is not his forte. Obviously, he's going to he's going to be working on it and 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 stuff like that. And Jake seems to be quite powerful uh, with his boxing. But listen, I, I want I want to go for for for, for Ben to, to to prove to everyone that listen, you can't just come in here. And, and and think you train for, a, for for maybe a year or or a couple of years and think you're going to go and beat the top guys, uh, especially in stuff that they, they've been doing like their whole life. So uh, yeah, man, uh, I, I I really I really want Ben to win that fight. I mean, it's, it's such a bullshit thing, <laughs> but uh, I am with Ben Askren because you know he's he's coming from MMA. Uh, I think Jake Paul's going to win, honestly. Ben Askren obviously was a world champion in MMA, but we we we've all seen how he's wrestled. Anybody who's watched him or anybody's watched him, seen how he's fought. He just wrestled the entire time, and it's not even pretty wrestling. You know, he turns it into a scramble. He turns it into like a little bit of a brawl. He's a real funky wrestler. Uh, he's not. He was never very explosive or very flashy. You know, so um, and he said in multiple interviews, and you see him shadow boxing before his fights and hitting pads and hitting the bag is the boxing experience just isn't there. And it just seems like he never took the time to learn it, you know? And um, Jake Paul, although only two and oh in boxing and newer to boxing, probably a few years in, he has athletic ability. He has a little bit of power behind his punches. And on top of that, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of people that'll beat Jake Paul. Don't get me wrong, but for where he is in his career, he's definitely better than Ben Askren. No. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I mean, Jake Paul, I know Logan Paul is a pretty big guy normally. Jake Paul, I'm not too sure how big he is. But uh, but I guess it'll be interesting to see what happens for sure. If it, if it ends early, it's Jake Paul. But if it goes uh, if it goes to the eighth, the seventh or eighth round, I think uh, Ben Ashton can actually TKO him. Just because I haven't seen Jake Paul. We haven't seen Jake Paul go into those deeper rounds so we don't know if he has cardio or anything like that and you know ben Ashburn, he's he's like that uh hard working he's just a hard working blue collar guy and i think man that uh he's not gonna quit he's been hit by by somebody like robbie lawler like, he's been hit by robbie lawler and didn't go out a lot of guys can't take that punch and i don't think uh jake paul hits as hard as robbie lawler so man i think late rounds uh ben Ashburn gets a stoppage if Especially, it doesn't even have to be hard punches. He just goes up to him and just starts punching him, like, like, because if Jake Paul's going to be that exhausted, so, um, so to me, I, I, I would give it to Ben Ashburn, uh, late rounds, but early rounds, Jake probably has that pot. Has, looks like he has that. Make sure to subscribe to the Low Kick MMA YouTube channel for all the latest news, event previews, and interviews with some of the biggest stars in MMA.